In this example, we have data that's fairly linear. Um, I think you can see like most of the data kind of falls in this category right here, right? And you can put like a best fit line roughly there, right? And so if that was all the data, you'd have a fairly high R value. Um, the one that sticks out is this one, right? Um, and the way we identify outliers, right, is that it falls outside the normal pattern, the overall pattern established by the other data points, right? And so um, the point at like uh, it's like 47 comma 2 uh, what is that like 205 right so 47 comma 205 right this would be considered unusual and the reason why is because it's so far outside the overall pattern, right? That it ends up introducing a pretty high value for the deviation, like it's y minus y bar value is very, very large, right? And just by including that value, it's the highest, uh, like it's the highest uh, y value, uh, and um, right, it's unusual that with an increasing slope that the highest point would come early. Um, and so for six, if we have, uh, if we were able to take this out, then the rest of the data would be very, very linear, right? Like you can see how strongly uh, all this data would lie along that line. And so uh, by removing the unusual point right the uh, the r value would go uh, it would go closer and closer to one right I mean it's fairly linear now but by removing that um, and uh, it should be noted that this right here, right, that R is not a resistant measure, right, like the mean and the standard deviation also, right, if you have an outlier, those two values, right, change as well. Um, but the nice thing is that in number seven, right, uh, the correlation, if we're subtracting 50 from every single value, we actually don't end up with a change in correlation um, because if you look at the terms, right, the summation of uh, x minus x bar over sx, right, and y minus y bar over sy, um, the deviations uh, would actually be the same. Uh, So obviously the n value wouldn't change, um, and this is basically the thing that we're looking at. Um, if we subtract 50 from every single value, um, the y would be minus 50, and then you'd be subtracting y bar, but since everything lost 50, you'd also be losing 50 there, right? and the standard deviation is the same, and so you end up with y minus y bar over sy, right, the spread of the data would be exactly the same, um, and so the no, there would be no change in the correlation.